This is Friday, the 30th of April, 2021. About 1.20 in the afternoon. 72 degrees. We're headed east on Georgia 140. We're going to be turning, and I think I just missed it right there. Oh, it should be the next one, baby. It's a pretty little drive. Got some nice feels. So I get down to the end of the road. I'm going to turn around and come back up and have the side camera on. It's supposed to get up to um, about 78 today. Go down to about 53 tonight. We'll be about 80 tomorrow and 53 again tomorrow night. are supposed to clear out. It's supposed to really be a really pretty day tomorrow. Just another one of George's little back roads. What this yellow stuff is in the fields, but it, it, it makes the fields look golden. It look, makes it look great. And that's one of the main reasons I'm coming through here. There should be a couple of them that really look good. I hope the sun will break through these clouds a little bit more. And when we come back up, we're going to take a separate fork, but come by some of those fields and the side camera hopefully will catch them and show them very well. I don't know where we're headed today. I've got a feeling we're going to turn north today and go up 75. I've already got 75 up to Chattanooga, so I probably won't start it until I get to Chattanooga. Go up and cross Tennessee into Kentucky, maybe. I don't know. We're just going to sort of wing it. May not even end up going that way, I don't know. Now there's one of those fields. down here at the cemetery and go up to this church and look out over that field.
Ustanala United Methodist Church. We can't drive through the cemetery and may have to walk to the top of that hill. That's a nice, that's a pretty looking cemetery. We're definitely going to have to check it out. area and um, park and then walk over there to it and look over the top of that ridge out onto that field over there. Well they do have it where we can turn right here go out there. some video and come back and we'll continue on looking back to the church this barbed wire fence either. Boy, he is watching me. I can't see in this camera. I can't see what I'm getting. Whether I'm getting him or the tree or what. Or nothing.
Okay, we've come back out of the cemetery now. We're going to turn right. We're going to go down to the next road, I think, and turn around and come back and let that side camera catch these fields. And we'll take that right fork instead of the left fork. Good video of that bull out there. He was on, uh, right there, right at that tree, and he was watching me like a hawk. I wish I had some music to play for him. <laughs> uh, I don't know what creek that is. stop in that gap there and look at that field with the cows in it. I normally wouldn't um, keep the camera on going back, but I've gone back and looked at a couple of them where I did, and it's almost like a completely different video. Um, I guess it probably is. You're looking at things from the reverse. When we, when we get on whatever freeway we get on, I'm going to put the camera, the side camera, on the back windshield to show uh, people coming up behind us. We may ought to do it on the two-lane roads. It might get more animated on the two-lane roads. <laughs> cloudy days to try to do video for some reason this year. I think it's unusual, but it may not be. Maybe it's just that I've just noticed it this year. Okay, I'm going to turn the side camera back on and hopefully that FedEx won't come out behind us because I want to go slow if he does I'm going to pull over up here fields I'm going to turn the front camera off and just catch the uh, side camera
winds up again today and there's been another pollen alert. Had a good rain last night. Knocked the pollen down, but it's back. And that's, I just saw the second uh, chinaberry tree blooming. Getting cranked up. Coming up on that field, I'm going to turn the front camera off.